Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week on the cycle cart I'm hoping to get the nose cone properly fixed. See you in a minute. Now when we last left the cycle cart nose cone I'd got the holes cut out in it and I've got it roughly fitting over the front axle but it's time now to actually mount it to the frame properly and hopefully that starts to unlock getting bits of bodywork done and all sorts of things so let's uh, have a look and see how we're getting on with that now I cut the hole out in the cowl but it is pretty rough in terms of its line because it was done with that mask and a multi-tool so I just want to make sure I've got a decent flat plane now for that. I've just stuck a couple of bits of sandpaper down on a piece of timber. I'm just going to move it back and forth and get myself down to a level where it's all on the same plane. Just measure the heights as well of the sides because it's easy to get the whole thing on the tilt otherwise. It's 250, 260, 285. That's about 300. So as I thought, it's the whole thing is counted over that way at the moment. I've been doing a bit of work on the nose cone for a day or two now, on and off. I've got the hole pretty much the way I want it. Um, I've deepened the slots for the axle because I've dropped the front slightly. That needs a bit of tidying up but it's pretty much in the right place now. Um, and I've got the frame fitted ready to glue in that I made some while ago that will support the back of it. Um, I've got some aluminium on order to just bolt on the front of the chassis that will just fix through two bolts either side to fix the whole of the front end on then I think that will do the whole thing so that's all going well I've cleared the um, spring perch at the bottom so I can just drop the nose cone straight down all going well on that score slightly less well on the um, grill front I've realized the flaw in my wonderful solution to buying mesh cheap um, and that is that the barbecue grill that I've bought, the actual pieces are not physically attached to one another. They run crossways with dips and uh, hollows and bumps in them which locate these things but they're actually not specifically attached to one another. So I've got a couple of solutions in mind to deal with that. I'm hoping they might tin, in which case I can get a, a blowtorch on them and just solder the whole thing solid, or alternatively just put dabs of glue on, super glue onto each junction, which would be a bit of a pain, but it will do the job. But until I do that, I'm frightened if I cut the framework off, I'll end up with a whole load of tiny little pieces so that's on hold at the moment. Um, the other thing I've done is to be playing with the badge. That I put that came to put that on and it was nowhere near fitting because the wings were straight and they just stuck out sideways. I've had an angle grinder working on the back, I've been gently bending it, it's an alloy so it's not going to be that easy to do without risk but I think I've got to refill one of the holes in because I got it slightly wrong but I think I'm almost in the right position now I need a tiny bit more bending on that and we can bolt that on in the right place so we're getting on with that so I think the nose cone is coming on well another day or so I think we'll have all this glued up and once my aluminium arrives we can actually locate it on the car <coughs> And I think I'll leave it at that point. I won't do a lot more than that. I'm not going to get it into finish or anything like that. Um, it's one of these things I'm trying to start at the front and work backwards. Having got that done, I can fix the middle bulkhead and then I can 
do the little joining piece which is about 125 mil high that runs front to back underneath the exhaust pipe on one side uh, and which forms the bottom where the bonnet sits on the other so that's going okay now, I've just been having a play with this uh, it does hold together if you get a big enough piece of it but as you can see it um, it has no real strength in it at all it's going to be a pain in the uh, proverbial but what I'm going to do is while it's still square in its mesh I'm just going to put spots because it only needs some location in some places but if I go across the whole thing like that with very thin super glue at each junction you can't see it and it should I think um, lock the whole thing together so I'm just run across it like that wipe off any surplus glue and then get my accelerator on it <coughs> and that now has locked that up solid rigid there's no slop in it there's no movement in it so that's got me out that that will get me out the trouble of um, the grill being disconnected if you like and it's a sort of reasonably easy fix even if it does mean it takes me uh, an hour or so just to get all the little blobs of super glue on but it doesn't take long once you get going so here we are the front end's really starting to take shape now i've got the all the fixings in on the spring perch um, it'll need taking apart and putting back together when it's ready for paint but we're pretty much there now just got some more bolts on order for the pins through the axle and the axle end the uh, spring end <clears throat> but that's all resolved i've got my ride height set i think at about 80 mil i've got the longer new spring hangers done they're all cut and sorted i've sorted all the bolts fixings out on the axle ends so they're all ready to go I've got one more axle end to polish um, I haven't yet done the fixing on the radius rods probably for a good reason in that I've already found that by dropping them I was originally going to put them at the top of the chassis rail but by dropping them it gives me a lot less problem around here with the steering arms so I'm glad I held back on that um, but pretty much everything now all of this work around the cowl at the bottom is fixed the cowl itself is almost there a little bit of fettling here and there I've got my badge more or less sitting on right on the top which it was miles out because it was almost flat and I'm just about to bond the timber into that which gives me the bulkhead in front of the bonnet but once that's bonded in I can just tidy all that up and that will be ready so we're nearly there I've got some aluminium on order that will bolt under those two bolts and fix up the sides either side and then I can just put two bolts through and fix and that will all be done so I'm quite pleased with that that's nearly tied up the front end as as far as I'm going to take it at the moment um, I'm just about to move on to the scuttle that's also ready to just glue up a bit now that's pretty much ready and then that means I can concentrate on getting this infill from the front nose cone back to here there's about a 600 mil gap that needs an infill about 125 mil high so that's the next job I think once I've got the nose cone fixed then that will finally fix the scuttle and that's really what I've been aiming for all along that's the main thing to get done next so that I can then sort the seating and carry on working backwards and I'll come back and worry about things like this later on because the next big thing to worry about is motors and how they fit in and how they all work 
Okay, another day, another dollar. It's time to make a start on trying to get the nose cone somewhere near ready to mount. I've taken some of the um, back off the hoop that I made for the scuttle, uh, for the front nose cone, so that it fits a bit more snugly. And I've also run round the inside of it with a, a little belt sander thing that just gets most of the lumps and bumps out so I've got a reasonably snug fit now <coughs> it will need probably a little bit of filling around later on around the edge but that's where the material's been taken out to to basically come around the edge of the mould it sort of thins down a bit on that edge but I'm not too worried about that so I've got a reasonable chance of getting a half decent fixing in there I think now I'm going to mix up some epoxy resin and give it a good coating and you can clamp it all together. And hopefully with that in it, it becomes a much more rigid structure that we can deal with and work with. So we want something to mix the resin on really, don't we? Something a bit disposable, like a bit of plywood. Just using a rapid epoxy. I don't think there's any great need for huge strength on this. I don't know how much we'll need, but we can use up. If we've got too much, we can use it up as filler. If we haven't got enough, we can mix some more. Not a huge fan of epoxy resins, but uh, because they're filthy, smelly things. But uh, in this instance, probably not got much alternative. Um, I don't trust super glues particularly for something like that. I think they tend to crack. But um, we'll see how it goes. up a make a little spatula out of some coffee stirrers they're not very strong in themselves but if you put a couple together wrap a bit of tape around them and we should get somewhere near start with that and then see where we go from there. Now then, get that roughly in place. And then we'll start the clamping. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, we'll give that a few minutes and see what happens. Now I've put a couple of metal brackets that bolt to that front support assembly. Drilled a couple of holes through. Got a pair of bolts that look vaguely um, suitable. And that will now sit on there. Put those through there. And bolt them up. So now when that's bolted to the side pieces it gives a really solid rigid mounting for the nose that keeps all the sides flush with the chassis rails and um, hopefully that will sort the whole of the nose cone out. Okay so the nose cone is properly mounted now. Obviously there's a lot of work to be done on it over the next few weeks getting it uh, ready for paint and all sorts of other things I've got the grill to fit lots of other things to do but at the moment it's there now it's fixed it means we can get on with the bodywork and start and get the whole thing tied together as a cart rather than a collection of pieces so I hope it was of interest look forward to seeing you next week we'll be doing something different on the cart hope to see you then bye